Well, congratulations. You have me totally mystified. I have no idea how this is happening. I cannot duplicate your situation on my machine at all. Watched your video, I don't know how many times. And basically, I have no idea how you have this stuck in the middle of your viewport. Anyway, uh, I'm just trying to get it back up here. Where the devil is it? Right there. That looks like it is totally embedded in your viewport. Anyway, yep, yeah, uh, looks like it's totally embedded. I have no idea how that has happened. One thing I can suggest is that you completely uh, uninstall and reinstall Source Villain Maker. That might be one fix. And uninstall and reinstall the correct way by actually going to your Source Villain Maker in the client and uh, doing the uninstall there. Just like my library. Right clicking on Source Film Maker, Properties, Local Files, Delete Local Application Content, and Reinstall. I, I have no idea. A uh, couple of other things you can try before you do that though is, um, let me get Source Film Maker going here. I'll launch Source Film Maker, and this is the actual uh, engine window before the uh, the program starts. It ends up going into the background, and the uh, interface pops in. I'm going to create a session, and this is the way my Source Film Maker loads. It goes directly, viewport goes directly to no map loaded, or if I don't start a session that says no session. In behind the scenes is my engine window. And I've tried everything that I know of to try and get that thing to embed into my primary viewport, and there's no way. I mean, I can't even shrink uh, the size of that window. Let me get rid of this. I can't even shrink this thing. It's modal. It, it's, it doesn't move. Now the way that I get rid of my uh, game engine window is I go Windows, Engine Window, and I click on the Auto Hide Engine Window. And poof, there it goes. It disappears. All I'm left with is my primary viewport and console. But, like I said, it looks like yours is embedded right into your primary viewport. Now, I'm wondering what would happen if you pull your primary viewport off the screen and make it its own window and exit the window. Does it close down your Source Film Maker? If it closes the Source Film Maker down, that means that there's a tie directly <coughs> made uh, between the graphic user interface, this thing, and the engine window. And I have no idea how to break that. I can't find anything on the net about it. So, if you're able to close it and this window remains open, what I would suggest you do then is go back into Windows, click on Primary Viewport. It should open the Primary Viewport in its own window and it should come up and say no map loaded. Grab that tab, drag it back up here and put it beside the console and put it back into the window. See if the 
uh, engine window comes back with it. Uh, barring that, the only thing I can suggest you do is actually close out all of these windows and rebuild your menus. And the way that you do that is that on these little X's here, if you start clicking the X's, all the tabs and everything are going to close down until you get to the bottom of the graphic user interface. From here, what you can do is you go into Windows and start bringing those particular windows back into being. It will start with the Element Viewer. When you click on Element Viewer, it will open its own win little window. Grab a hold of the tab, pull it off of there. Oh, wait, before I do that, I've got to move this out of the way. Pull it off of there and just drop it on that little square there and it should blow up to the entire size of the window. From there, Windows, and the next thing we're going to bring in is the Animation Set Editor. You pull that off its window and drop it back up here beside the Element Viewer. Now that you've got those two items in here, we're going to bring in the um, Primary View Port. Bring in the Primary View Port. Pull it off its window and you see the five little squares here. Well, that indicates places where you can put this. I'm going to drop it right up here. No, sorry. I'm going to drop it over here on the right hand side next to it. And it's going to create a new tab bar window. Pull that off to the side here. Next thing I'm going to bring in is the console. And the console goes up here beside the primary viewport. And the last thing I'm going to bring in is the clip editor. I pull this one off and I drop it on this one here and now I've got my screen looking the way it did originally. The other thing you can try is to close off all these windows again. Go to Windows, Layouts, and return to default layout. It should load everything up the way that it was in the first place. Other than that, I have no idea. Sorry, can't help you. My only suggestion would be to uninstall properly and reload Source Filmmaker. Again, to un uninstall Source Filmmaker, do it the proper way. Go to your libraries, all software, Right click on Source Film Maker. You can either delete local content from here or go to Properties, Local Files, Delete Local Application Content. And that will completely wipe out uh, Source Film Maker except for any of the custom files that you happen to have in your Source Film Maker directory. Once that's finished, uninstalling what I would suggest that you do is go into your source film maker directory move anything that is in your uh, um, directory that you want to hang on to like any of your custom content move it off and actually delete the source film maker folder then go back into steam store or to www.sourcefilmmaker.com, I think it is, if I remember rightly, and click on the download link and reinstall. Hope this helps. Uh, like I say, I have no idea what's going on with your particular instance of Source Filmmaker. And with that, I say, Private Jack out.